Good morning. And welcome to Wet Winnipeg. The thunder is rolling at the moment. Lightning is flashing. Probably about 10 minutes ago, I saw the neighbors coming back with Missy, so I just stuck my head out the door. <laughs> and this one wet little dog got her milk bone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, if, uh, well, I, I, I know for sure there's no sunrise this morning. And I'd be very surprised if uh, Dawn and Bridget crossed the bridge today. <laughs> yeah, well, at least right now. It, it, it might clear up. I haven't checked the weather yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. I got out twice yesterday on my bike. And uh, uh, when my neighbor was over and have, had coffee with me uh, yesterday, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, yesterday was Monday. And he was over and he was telling me about an, an app that he uses when he when he goes biking that keeps track of where you go. And so he, he knew that I finally got myself a smartphone. And so I, I downloaded this, this app. Or uh, he showed, he actually, he did it. <laughs> and uh, it, it, I went out again last night and I tried it out. And uh, I went, I went quite a ways, and I zigzagged around and went different places to, you know, to see how accurate it is. And wow, it keeps track of where you're going, shows you a little map that you can zoom in on, and tells you how fast you went and your elevation and uh, uh, the slowest, the, or the average speed, the fastest speed, it, and it seems to be quite accurate. And and of course the distance, and it 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 tells you the amount of calories you've burned. Now, it doesn't know that I'm on an e-bike. <laughs> I don't think I burned too many calories. In fact, that, that big seat that I made for my e-bike, if it was any more comfortable, I'd be a couch potato. <laughs> now, I was thinking that there may well be people out there that would like to actually see this app. What does it look like? So, I recorded this later for you. Okay, let's uh, get going here today. Uh, our little uh, our little part has has dried. <clears throat> the second coat, I'm not going to give it a third. Uh, I, I think it's uh, it, it's it, it seems to be pretty good to me. A, a tiny bit blotchy, but there's going to be details stuck down on there, and and so on. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the other piece over here. And uh, where's Chris's file? take one of uh, Chris's uh, precision files here and just see if I can go in that slot and, and enlarge that slot a little bit. And then we have that other problem that it, the module didn't want to fit between those two other things on the... Anyway, let's, uh, let's recompose so that you know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. It is pouring out there at the moment. It is pouring. But that's okay. The model table's dry. Okay. I was originally going to try and hold this with my fingers and try and get the file to go through into that slot. I'm hoping it's going to fit now. Anyway, the latest is I'm going to take this uh, clamp here. I've, I've got soft rubber on the uh, on the jaws of it, and I think this is going to work. Now I, I haven't I haven't actually tried this before. I think it holds goes flatter this way, just very very gently here. Just try not to get my my fingers in your way. I'm getting my fingers in your way. Let's just turn this a little bit here. There we go. Okay now, very very gently just. Try and keep it flat on the table. And don't go too hard now, don't go too hard. Okay, now, now I've got something just a little bit better to hang on to. Now the plan is, I take Chris's file here, and I haven't tried this yet, so it might not fit. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in a bit. 
Okay, now. I don't think I need to worry about breaking anything on the inside there. Although it seems to be coming up against something. I wonder what's on the inside there that it's coming up against. Must be something in there. Well, I, th I think you get the idea. Now, I want to be careful that I don't uh, break this little... Uh, get my... Uh, smart device out of the way here. Okay. All right. You see, I got to be really careful with these things. Let's try it again here. What I need is some sort of a reciprocating device. I wonder what's on the inside there that won't let it go all the way in. Be very careful here now. Whoops. Maybe if I brought my hand around this side. There we go. I think that that's going to get rid of any burrs or anything like that, that it's going to prevent the thing from wanting to go in. I'm going to do the other side exactly the same way. And then and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try this thing, see if it's going to work. I'm pretty sure it's going to go a lot easier. Now, this is my first time trying it, so hopefully it's not going to scrape all the paint off of the off of the deck there. All right. It worked. Now, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to enlarge this or not to to get it around that uh there's sort of a little cabin of some type right there. Um, well, let's get the other piece over here and start fitting stuff. Okay, do you see outside what I'm seeing? I sure hope it's like that later this afternoon. Okay, I think we'll try it first with this removed. Now, I, I keep forgetting how big this thing is here. Okay. Now, there are so few places I can grab this thing by. I'm having trouble getting this uh, clamp off here. There we go. All right. Now, this has to go like this. So I can hold it here. I can kind of hold it here. Uh, down, down here isn't too bad, as long as I don't catch my, my finger on the railing. Now, what I want to try to do is to see why is it not going in between here? Well, obviously, because these two things are 
too close together, but is there going to be, uh, is it going to go and all I have to do is just maybe spring everything just a little bit or? finger on this thing and I I broke it loose well I'm gonna have to fix that I'm just gonna quickly do that off camera uh, okay that's all part of the fun guys all part of the fun now it's pretty much in the right place you, you can see what's what's broken off here This is the, uh, yeah, you can see it went right down to the bottom and it's on the, on the planking on the bottom there. And, th and that is the, uh, Instacure, the, uh, CA Insta Instacure. So, uh, I don't think I need to put any, uh, I don't think I need to put any curing agent on it. It's probably going to start curing pretty quick. Let's just push something up against the side here and see if it wants to go in at all. No, you know what? It's it's uh it's already it's already curing, so let's not mess with it. No. I am wondering if before I try our module again, I just maybe try and enlarge this just a little bit very carefully. Um, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna have to do some vacuuming afterwards, but but this will just sort of get rid of some of the burrs maybe. Okay, I'm gonna do that to the other three as well. It's probably, I'm guessing, a quarter of a, or half a millimeter too close together here. I'm gonna have to come up with another plan. And I'm, I'm feeling my, my finger rubbing against the railing there. That's, I'm gonna end up breaking something else. Okay, how can I enlarge that? Can I? Uh, I need something that is uh, going to take it down faster than this. here to here I think is okay. It seems to me that it was just these two that are catching. So I, I enlarged them a bit and we're going to give it another try. And 
Here we go again. Alright, it looks like it almost goes. I don't want to be forcing anything. Oh, I caught my thumb on the railing there, but I didn't break it. Now, try not to get my fingers in your way again. I've got to move this whole thing forward. And then the, are we going to be able to get our platform on afterwards? I, th I think we can. Does it look believable? It has to go down about three or four millimeters on the front, but the, the back, you can't see it, but the back is already on the deck here. Now I can push here. Oh, not real hard though. Careful now. I might have to swing this around so I can see it better off camera and try and get it down. Um, I'm curious, is this going to fit? I might have to take the file to the inside of that. Yeah. Oh, careful. I caught my... Caught this. There. <laughs> Are we going to make the... You know, get this thing finished and without a whole bunch of pieces breaking off? I don't know. Um... Just let me reposition a little bit here. I'm going to try and push this down. Okay, I have swung you around about 120 degrees. Obviously, you're facing me now instead of looking in from this direction. Um, okay, so the, the back is, is on the deck here. We just have to get the front down just a little bit. Now, it, it could be that it's having a problem because it has to... It has to fit in that positioning flange or whatever. So, uh, let's just very, very carefully here. Oh my goodness, I'm bumping stuff. Okay. I want to be able to grab it where I can put a little bit of force on it. just doesn't want to go down. I, I hear stuff crackling, but I... it just does not seem to want to go go down here. It's 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 up about uh... Okay, why is that not going? Why is that not going? Maybe what I'm going to have to do is enlarge the the opening here that has to go around this piece right here because I think I think right now that that's that's what's holding it. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, get it all the way forward. It is just not going. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's that, that this flange. Okay. Well, here's hoping I haven't uh, broken anything off. I'm going to enlarge that hole. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do it off camera. Okay. Don't know if you can see it or not, but I've enlarged it slightly. And we're going to try this again. That's it. It's down. Let me 
grab it somewhere where I can put a little bit more pressure. Okay, now, uh, it, it seemed to go fairly easy, but before I actually glue it down, I, I think we should uh, try this piece here and make sure it's going to work. Because it could be that this is going to have to, in order to get this in, it could be that this is supposed to, ooh, run. Okay, I'll be up a little bit. This, this seems to fit pretty good right there, and this piece here fits in the hole pretty good. So let me remove this here. Okay, let's just double check. Is this going to go on okay? Uh, yeah, I think with a little wiggling it will. Okay, this is a fairly loose fit, if I remember. So let's just try this again now. It, it could well be that stuff is going awry on the other side there that I can't see. And some of you are just screaming at your, at your screens. Okay. Uh, does that look like it's down all the way? No, it's not. You know what? Be because <laughs> because we've got this platform in place now, it's being held up somewhere. But where? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Well, let, let's just let's just assume that I was to put a bunch of glue on this flange here. Well, not a bunch, but okay. And we're going to try and put this in place again. Okay. Now that's down about as down as it's going to get, and that's that's in place right now. But but this this has to go forward. There we go. There we go. Okay, that is it. That that's it. Uh, from from my side, it looks good. Um, let's just push stop here for a minute while I take a breath. <laughs> okay, I am noticing that when I tip this up like this you can see that there is a space. Okay, the the uh, bottom of the superstructure is not coming all the way down on the deck. It's probably about a millimeter up. It is partially going over the flange. But I was wondering, why why is that? But there is nothing we can do about it because this platform here and this platform here are resting on the top of, of pieces that are coming up. And there, there's just nothing we can do about it unless I was to shave them down. But I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, I think we're, I'm going to take everything off here and uh, put some glue on. And uh, very carefully here now. Okay, let's put some uh, Tamiya Thick around that uh, piece right there. Now, once again, remember this is the one that drips. I don't care if it drips there. Now, once
Once this is down, it's down. We're not taking gonna be taking it off again. go let's try not to break anything we've almost got it now is it my imagination or did it go down all the way You know what? It, it looks like it went down all the way. Well, it, maybe that glue kind of uh, softened a, a burr or something. And well, so much for my theory about uh, these platforms are resting on something and can't go down all the way. Well, that, that, that's all right. That's all right. I don't mind being wrong when it's in my favor. Okay, I don't think I need to work on this anymore. Let's let's just get my hands out of there and, and let that dry yeah Did, what about this piece here does it can it go back just a little bit maybe there we go now that is such a tight fit I'm not going to even put glue on that okay it's kind of hard to see this one because it's there now you can see it Okay, we got to protect this. Okay, this is, this is going to help. And I'm thinking maybe I should cut another one to go over this one right here. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got everything laid out here so it's uh, correct with the manual. Step 41. Now, uh, there's the, this module we've already made, uh, this module we've already made, and uh, they're, they're ready to be just sort of plopped down into place. I think they'll go a lot easier. But if you will recall, and, and here's a perfect example of why I wanted to put hoops around everything, so that when I'm reaching over, okay, you can see what how easy it is to accidentally break something off. Okay. Now you remember we were talking about putting our ladders, number 10, in place on the module before we stuck the module down. Well, it's too late now because I forgot about it. But, but now thinking about it, I probably would have accidentally broke them off because they would have been sort of hanging down so I, I'm going to just do my best here, and uh, they have to go, uh, it has to go right, right under, okay, right underneath this, this piece right here it goes. All right, let's, uh, let's recompose and see if we can look right in there. Now I've got to admit, I've been pretty lucky being able to get out every day since May the 30th on my bike. Yeah, the uh, we have had rain, but I've been able to work the rides around it, and uh, mind you, there was no rain yesterday, but uh, uh, I, I did get out, and uh, if you remember, I was going to see, uh, you know, how, how the time would change if I went as fast as I could in level one. Now, level one is... Uh, uh, about 24 kilometers an hour maximum and uh, that, that's like about 15 miles per hour anyway that's what I did and I maintained that speed I would say oh 98 percent of the time now I did have to stop uh, I think twice for red lights but I was I was pretty lucky though I didn't have to wait very long for it to turn green uh, the time, well, uh, it was taking about an hour and 20 minutes before when I was just sort of loping along. And uh, yesterday, it was one hour and six minutes. So, uh, it, yeah, cut it off about 14 minutes. 
Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, I don't know why I'm finding it interesting, because it only stands to reason. If you go faster, it's going to take less time, right? Anyway, that's what happened yesterday. Okay, you can sort of see where it has to go here. Now, would it be easier maybe to try and bring it in from the bottom? rather than dropping it down from the... Maybe I should grab it by the... Ha! Uh, you can sure tell that I didn't paint the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna carefully try and grab it by the sills here. I mean by the, by the uh, stringers. And... Uh, if I can just get it to sit in place. No, nope, gotta get a better grasp here. Let's try that. Oh. And this is definitely something you can't use the wax pencil for. get my angle right. Let's see if I can swing around here and look from behind the camera. Alright. Try it the way I had it the first time. I wonder if maybe I was to squeeze the rails a little bit closer together. together yet well, it almost goes this, let, let me let me just check here and look at the monitor you can see it better than I can it's it's pretty close it's pretty close we'll try and get the the angle of it I need something that I can pull with as well as maybe can I get Tony's tweezer in there, maybe? I just... Okay. Uh, let me look at that. Um, it looks like it's the same angle as the other two ladders, the one above it and the one below it. So I'm looking sort of straight on at it right now. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, see if I can touch some uh, CA thin, uh, probably at, at the top. There's, there's no, nothing's going to catch on it to pull it out of there. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I am sitting in front of my computer right now doing the final edit. And the reason I'm saying the final edit is because it's about, oh, 11, 12 minutes after 1 in the afternoon here and uh, a moment ago I checked the tracking for Corey's package and there is absolutely nothing new on it. Uh, same information we had two three days ago. It's left Toronto and I'm guessing it's in Canada Customs. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow.